in the centre. Charlton. Right across to Peter Thompson on the left wing. Now with Bolton. And again, Liverpool being slightly pulled apart in defence. This is Kendall. And Lennox goes in, and that's his second. Again, Bobby Lennox, the scorer. John Toshak there. And now Cottrell, number 12, trying to find some room up front. Smith. Cottrell's got two or three to aim at now. And John Robson getting up well on the far post. Hunter joining the attack. Finding Cormac. Oh, and Lennox was there again at the near post, and that's a hat-trick by Bobby Lennox for the internationals. So Liverpool here, the European champions, finding themselves three goals down. And Lowell Cottrell there still tying his boot up as the kickoff was taken. Here's Lindsay. And Cottrell's header it was, just wide. Really good effort, that. Ian St. John applauding there. Charlton. This is Jeff Sammons. Nice skill with the left foot. And he tried to place it. Saved by McDonald. Liverpool, of course, without several first-team players tonight because of the home internationals. But here's David Fairclough. Toshak. Lindsay. Three in the centre. Johnson's header, and there's one back for Liverpool. David Johnson, the scorer. So 3-1 now the score to the internationals. And the Liverpool supporters back in good voice. This is Callaghan. Fairclough turning, but Kendall getting back well. That was a poor pass from Bobby Charlton, and Fairclough latching onto it. There could be a goal here, and it's in. Lovely solo run by David Fairclough. The cop applauding that one, and so it's now 3-2 to the internationals. And one wonders perhaps if Liverpool will have the extra pace in this last 15 minutes or so. Certainly Cottrell's enjoyed his match tonight. Thompson. Typical little jink from Peter Thompson. Sets the shot up for Peter Cormack. Callaghan starting Liverpool off again. This is Lindsay. The long ball for Tommy Smith, who's joined the attack. And Fairclough nipping in here and levels it up at 3 3. Fairclough second. Thompson being pursued by Jimmy Case. Now Phil Thompson. Not to be confused, of course, with Peter. This is Johnson. Goes past Charlton surely there by Cormac yes a foul by Cormac on Johnson and a penalty to Liverpool with just two minutes to go and it looks as though Lowell Cottrell making his first appearance here is going to take the penalty against Alex Stepney with the score 3-3 a big moment for him oh he's missed it he put it wide and the referee seems to think that Stepney may have moved and yes it's going to be retaken and Tommy Smith comes forward, perhaps he's going to try himself this time, no. He's leaving it to Cottrell again. A second chance. Oh, and Stepney saved it. A good save by Stepney from the penalty. And Cottrell there had a great chance to win the match for Liverpool. But 
surely now it's all over. The Tommy Smith testimonial match ends with smiles all round. The score, Liverpool 3, the Internationals 11-3, and a great night for Tommy Smith there. The supporters turned out in force with his fine servants, and a great night too there for number 12, Lowell Cottrell. For Lowell Cottrell, the big time is now almost over. Next season, Lowell will be back for the Wheat Sheep team in Liverpool's Sunday League. Time now for just a brief final moment to savour the atmosphere of Anfield. Left behind are two weeks in which Lowell learned what it's like to play for Liverpool. He's experienced the joys, now comes the self-recrimination. Oh, baby, the occasion got old man. I mean, I wasn't expecting to see the penalties, I mean. You know, when, when he gave the penalty, Tommy just said, go on, Lowell. And it was a sort of one-off thing. I mean, I've never taken a penalty at Anfield before, you know. But I should have put it away. I'm really upset over that, you know. I'll be getting some stick about that, too. For all my mates. Does it matter? Yeah. Of course. Of course it matters. I wanted to score more than anything there. It's a pity, because it's been a big occasion for that, to score in front of the cop. Uh, not many people have done that. And it'd be, it'd be nice for the lad. I wish we could all go back out again now and let him take it again and slap it in so he could always remember it. But well, it's just one of the things. And I couldn't let him get away with it. Well, I told you before the start of the game that uh, my pride was at stake. Yes. Uh, when he first came on, I thought he was one of the young lads off the, uh, that belonged to Liverpool because I thought he looked a good player. He had some good touches and he knew when to knock it off and where to run to. And the one he put past the post, he made a good position for his header, you know. Pulled away and he headed it just wide and he was unlucky. He went ever so quick. Honestly, uh, yeah, well, you just seen it like you were on and you were off. Did he play 45 minutes there? That's because uh, that's with the extra strain, I see. He was on the round, he never felt it. Very impressed with his attitude. He's had a real good go and the lads have enjoyed having him around. He needs about a stone and a half off still, but uh, I think uh, next year they could have a new star here. Well, I think the best thing you can say about the lad is that we didn't know he was an amateur player. Well, I think Lowell enjoyed himself, and that's what the main thing is, you know. I think he's had an insight into professional football, which he didn't, wouldn't have done normally, and uh, he's happy with it, and so are we. He missed his penalty, a dull. What can he do, you know? <laughs> was, it, was it worth all that training? Of course, yeah. Worth every minute of it. I sit saying out here, you know, and, and these fellas, like, and it's talking to me as if they've known me for years as well. It's the greatest... The greatest, greatest moments of my life that I've been out there.